Good morning everyone and welcome back to another video. Today is Monday, we've got Rick painting in the office this morning, we've got Sean finishing off the floor in my sister's apartment. I've got lots of work to do today, so let's crack on. Good morning, Sean. Good morning, Ryan. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Did you have a good weekend? I had a brilliant weekend. Fabulous. So, what are you doing today? Today, we're well, just finishing off the flooring inside his apartment. Right. Shouldn't take you too long, just got a few cuts in the corner there, a little bit over that side, and she will be ready to go. Perfect. A nice little boost for her, I think. I must ask, where did you learn to lay flooring like this and do woodwork and stuff? Because you're very talented at it. Thank you very much. There's money. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've done an apprenticeship when I left school. We're going back like sort of 35 years ago. Renovated countless amounts of properties for myself. Been in the biz, you know, the building trade for all that time. So yeah, it's just you just pick it up, learn from other people, and just get on with it. Good man, Sean. Hence, I'm here doing this. Excellent. Well, we're happy to have you. Yeah. I'll let you carry on and finish the job, okay, and uh, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Good morning, Rick. Morning, Mr. Ryan. How are you this morning? Fantastic. How uh, was your weekend? It was good. Been doing more renovations work on my house. Um, good progress. And uh, now uh, here we are, Monday morning. The team's back together and we're ready to uh, crack on. Good man. So today I'm just going to be doing a little bit of cutting in around the doorways, um, really to tidy up the uh, the paint job that's been done and uh, try and get this hallway finished. Excellent. Well, I hope you've got a steady hand as I can see you're doing a fabulous job. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, what are you doing? Hello, mate. I'm just installing a mesh router system for the office just because I've noticed when we're down that end of the office, there's no internet. Uh huh. And I don't have the ethernet system wired in that end yet. So um, I bought these uh, Netgear mesh router system. So I'm just installing it on my phone quickly. I've just plugged it all in. What does that mean in simple terms? It means that these little boxes connect to each other and share the Wi-Fi. So there's three boxes, and it means you can walk throughout the office, which is quite large, um, and it will, you won't have to change the password. So I'm just setting it up. So you're expanding the internet? The Wi-Fi, just quickly, yeah, because I noticed this morning that there's a few places where I can't get internet in here. Okay. And the phone reception isn't that great either at the moment, so... And uh, I imagine internet is quite important for... Well, for YouTube and that, YouTube, yeah. 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 Very good. Well, let's crack on. Let's crack on. Check the ethernet cable. Make sure you plug the other end into the ethernet port. Okay. That panel there looks quite complex. Ah, oh, we've got it now. For some reason it wasn't working there. This is a switch panel, a patch panel, a camera system for the... CCTV, the fibre box, we don't have the fibre internet installed yet though, and now the router, and also up there is a 4G box for our current internet until we get the fibre installed. And what's the problem with the fibre? They haven't come to install it yet. They're very slow in France. <laughs> the cables are there on the roadside, they just haven't connected it yet. Fair enough. It's, um, sorry, I'm just going to try this again. Router detected, cables connected, internet connection, look at that. Detecting satellites. There's three. There's two satellites. Okay, two of two found. Personalise your settings. Excellent. Well done, Billy. I won't show you the password. No, best oh. not. And I'll call it convent. <laughs> How do you spell convent? <laughs> what are you doing, Billy? Hello, mate. Um, I'm just building a bit of furniture. It's on the list of to-do jobs today. It's um, just a shelving unit, a bit like the one next to me here, or the one behind me. It's going to go in the hallway just to store some things on, because there's a lack of storage in this, um, this office. So I'm just getting it done, and then once this is done, I'm going to go down into the apartment and do some more work. Just to get it all prepped, ready for, you know, all the work to come in there. So, yeah, it's exciting. It's not really that exciting. <laughs> Hi there, Rick. Hi. 
I see you're using the step ladder in a very innovative way. Got to have something to put your perm pot on, aren't you? Exactly. <laughs> it saves your back. You keep bending over all yeah, day long. Yeah, you get up to the top and the yeah. uh, the high bits. So yeah, and it's coming along nicely. Very nice indeed. I see you are indeed a master at cutting in, Rick. Well, I don't know about a master, but uh, I don't know what to say. Now. <laughs> Now, Rick, I'm pretty sure you are a master. Oh, you it's all are. that uh, Sailor Jerry's I had this uh, this weekend. <laughs> it's uh, steadied my nerves. <laughs> I'll have to have some of that then, I think. <laughs> oh, well, look at that, Billy. It fits like a glove. It does indeed. There we go. Hopefully it's not too much in the way there. And what do you intend to store on this new shelf unit? Just stuff. Um, I've got no idea actually. <laughs> um, things, bits and bobs. Bits and bobs. But um, it just, furniture like this, I know it's um, not the best quality furniture, but it fills the space, you know what I mean? It's not so plain in here. When we put up some more prints, you know, you've got a bit of furniture. It decorative. Makes it, it makes it like it looks like the office is being used rather than, you know, abandoned or whatever. Good yeah, man. So it looks good. Happy with that. We've got the Wi-Fi box on top now. It's a bit higher. It's not on the floor. We could put something else here. I don't know. Suggestion? Well, leave a comment below for the suggestions. I think the viewers should have an input. What do we put on this uh, shelf? <laughs> Billy's bought a shelf with nothing to put on it. Oh, hi, Gwen. Hello. So you're Billy's better half, for anyone who doesn't know. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> How's it going? Good, thank you. May I ask, what are you up to today? Uh, I am sorting out numbers and invoices and uh, all accounting. Oh, fabulous. So you, you're the um, brains behind the operation, so to well, speak. Yeah, I'm not actually doing the accounting. I'm sending the stuff to the accountant. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But I need to dig for it and find it. Okay, very good. And uh, do you have an estimate of how much has been spent on the uh, convent renovations? Mm, not in numbers, but everything that YouTube has made, it's been spent on the uh, renovations. Well, very good, <laughs> very good. So it comes in and it goes back out, but that's Lovely. what it's for. Exactly. Okay, well, I'll let you carry on with that. Yeah, thank you. Hi there, Rick. Hello, Mr. Ryan. I can see you're still on the ladder. Yeah, this time we're doing the, uh, just doing the ceiling, the edging up to the uh, new ceiling tiles that we've had put in. Uh-huh. Um, it's very, very delicate work. Right, well, in that case, I'm not gonna distract you and I'm gonna let you crack on with it. You're never a distraction, mate. You're never a distraction. Oh, thank you very much, <laughs> Rick. But I'll see you in a little bit, yeah? Okay, no problem. Sean! Ryan! Hello, mate! I'm back! You are back, aren't I've you? come to see ya. Yeah? And I've noticed something. Yeah? You're finished! I have finished in it, yeah. Well done! Well, right, mate, glad to help. Yeah. So it should just give them that extra little boost. You know, it's like the project, we all get stuck now and again, and we just need a little bit more impetus to get to the next stage. So hopefully, this will give it a boost. Might to get going again. Amazing, and this duplex apartment, uh, the living room and the kitchen area, this area, yes. really is coming together now. It's looking fabulous, it really is. So thank you once again, Sean, for my, your help. My pleasure. Much appreciated. Billy, what do you think of it? It looks amazing. Sean's done amazing work in here, and like you said, it's going to give Sadie the motivation and Mo to just crack on and get it done. So thank you very much, Sean. No problem. And thank you for watching. Yeah. It's not over yet. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the whole gang together, Billy. Here's well, Billy, Steve, Sean, Sean and Rick. Steve's at the Chateau today helping Dad, otherwise he wouldn't be here and then it wouldn't be the gang. Okay. So, yeah. We came, we saw, Part we conquered. Yeah. What are you doing there, Sean? I'm putting on the skirtings in the hallway. 
We have silicone behind, or some glue, and uh, we're gonna fire some nails in, make it nice and secure. We're gonna do the other side, and that is it in the hallway, fully completed. Excellent, let's crack on. Well done. Why are you hitting the wall with a hammer? I've lost it, Ryan. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, what we do, when a bracket's been on the wall and they undo the screw, it sort of sits proud the, the finish of the plasterboard, if you like, and you can't fill it. So what you have to do is, lightly with a hammer, just make an indentation, and then it accepts the filler. I see, so you're filling where brackets originally were. Yeah. Because originally on the wall there were uh, railings, handrails. Oh, that's right, yeah, and also some uh, fire extinguishers. Right, because the reason why there were handrails in this part of the convent, this was actually uh, an infirmary. So the individual rooms that we're doing up as individual offices, uh, like that one just there, for example, uh, would have been a uh, room where the guests patients, I should say, yeah. would have been treated. Okay. So um, I would say plenty of people have been treated in this part of the convent, mm -hmm. and I imagine a fair few have also sadly uh, passed away yeah. in this part of the convent. So there you go. Yeah, part of his history, isn't it? Exactly. There's no hiding from it. No. But when you look around, you can see where the, like, the alarms, the alarms are above the door, like the light flashing. Yeah, I need assistance, which we've got to take off actually. And do yep. a bit more filling there, so. All right, I'll let yeah, you crack on then. Okay, mate. Bye, Sean. Bye, Sean. Bye, Sean. Thanks a lot, mate. Love ya. Thank you. Love ya. Bye, Rick. See you, mate. Love ya. See you tomorrow. Love ya. <laughs> the day is finished, but it's not for us. We're gonna go back home now, and we're gonna see with my brother, Michael, what he's doing about the headstock for the bell, because he's got all the oak, and he's got the dimensions and plans now. Um, I've bought some really heavy duty, thick steel, some carbon steel. And this is going to be used to weld the bracket to the headstock so it can pivot on these bearings. So we're going to go back now and see what he's up to. So let's go. Welcome to the workshop at the Chateau. So here we have the oak, which we got from the wood yard. And with this oak, we're gonna create the yoke or the headstock for the bell. My trusty brother here is going to assist us with recreating the headstock. Well, we're gonna try. Anyway. We're gonna try, yeah. And then <laughs> Michael's gonna do all the woodwork and I'm just gonna do the metal work because I'm better at that than woodwork, I can't. I'm just not very good at it. So yeah, over to you, Michael. Hello, so if you don't know me, I'm Billy's older brother and I've got a YouTube channel as well. It's called Doing It Ourselves. So if you wanna see what goes on at the Chateau when Billy's at work, then go and check that out. But today I'm gonna to be making the headstock for Billy's Bell. Uh, and well, I'm gonna be following your 
diagram. So if the measurements are wrong, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got some oak, right? We've got two pieces of oak. First of all, we need to cut out the best part because it's got split at either end. And then we need to run it through the planer so it doesn't look like that. It doesn't look rough. Uh, and then we need to um, make this top part as well. And then you're going to do all the metal work, aren't you? Yeah. Really? Right, okay. So let's first of all find a saw that can cut through 140 millimetres. I don't think we've got one. We've got a hand saw. <laughs> exactly, 138 is here. You can move the tape now, Ryan. There we go. Right, so we've got to cut there and there. Hi. I can't hear or see you, but... <laughs> Nicer cut. And that can be planed off nice and square, so it's perfect. All right. So this is the top of the headstock. There we go. I could plane it thinner on one side so it's actually they're exactly the same if you want. Yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. Um, uh, right, so the headstock, now this part, the, the top part here is, is designed to just give the, the centre of the, the beam that it hangs from extra strength just to stop it sagging under the weight of the bell. So what you do is, I'm going to plane these and I will glue this with some tight bond Ultimate 3, which is completely waterproof mm. and it's probably one of the strongest wood glues in the world. And then you're going to put the straps over it, aren't you? Yeah. The metal straps. Yeah. So the wood's going to be finished by Michael tonight or tomorrow, I'm not sure exactly. He's got a tight schedule, he's got things to do. So next time we see this wood, it's going to be completely planed and ready to fit the bell to. So it's exciting. So thank you everyone for watching today's video and we'll see you all tomorrow.